And I think I got one. This right here is a stain remover. And all of this over here is stains on my carpet. What is going on, Saxon family? I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. You got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video. If you're not yet subscribed and a part of the Saxon family, what do you do with your life? Make sure to smash that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to never miss out on a brand new video. If you guys saw my last video, you would know McJuggernaut gets crashed by 100K party and well, I got basically most of the mess cleaned up. I do have the stains right here on the floor which need to get cleaned up but by the stain remover thing in my bobber we come over here got all the trash basically i have to take out tomorrow morning when it is daytime got the party streamer still hanging up which honestly i might just leave up or i might take down i haven't decided yet i mean they are pretty cool just to like you know leave hanging up i mean add some kind of look decoration to the apartment itself but yet again who knows i might be getting evicted so yeah that's not good. That's why I'm gonna make sure the carpets are at least clean so I can get my security deposit back. Or do you actually get your security deposit back if you get evicted? I don't know, let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think on that. Uh, do, you, do, you, do you actually get it back? That's, that's the question I do wanna know. Apparently, first thing I wanna do is I wanna take like two ounces of this cleaning stuff here and put it into here and then put really, really hot water. So I'm just gonna unscrew the cap right here and uh, you know, <laughs> I've never been good at reading directions, so I'm just gonna pour what looks like to be two ounces. Yep, okay, that seems like two ounces. Now what I gotta do next is put some hot water in this. While I actually wait on that, if you wanna actually get everyone needs a little bit sex in their like t-shirt, go to jeffsaxonvlogs.com. Guys, if you actually buy a Saxon hoodie, you can get any t-shirt right now up on the shot, including this shirt right here for 15% off. But what you gotta do is add the hoodie to your cart and then you get whatever shirt. So go to jeffsaxonvlogs.com. Hopefully actually now this water is warm. Woo! Actually, that is very warm, so I'm gonna put water in that and we're gonna start the cleaning process right now. Okay, so the moment of truth is here. I am praying that this thing right here can get all the seams out of the carpet. Here we go. Yo! Guys, this thing right here is actually working. See, like, that big stain is completely out, so I'm happy about that. Like, look at all these other stains. Boom! I'm actually, uh, Gonna finish all this up real quick and then I'll pick the vlog up. Take a look at the floor now, guys. It is all basically up, all that stains, thanks to this cleaner right here. But there actually is one thing I do wanna show all of you, and oh man, this, this right here just makes me so sad. This is my baby, my Phantom 4 drone by DJI. It, uh, yeah, we, we were delivering food to Jesse and Dom and it got dark and I couldn't see and I crashed the thing to a bunch of trees and honestly this right here just sinks because like this part of the drone connects into like here and yeah that's a 4k camera this is a like $1,500 drone when I got it and for it to be basically now <laughs> in pieces absolutely stinks for anybody that knows me and my love for drones I have two drones I had the Phantom 4 and I also have the Mavic Pro and honestly and my drones are like my babies basically and you know having one of my babies be broken absolutely stinks you know I, I'm a huge drone advocate I love flying drones I, I just I love drones in general and to have my drone broken uh, kind of breaks my heart but you know what I'm gonna message DJI to see how much it's gonna cost to actually get my drone repaired hopefully they will repair it I mean like I haven't had insurance on my drone in like almost a few months now fingers crossed that my drone can be saved by DJI. The homie Jake Duffner just woke me up at 12.40 in the afternoon to play Call of Duty Black Ops 4. I don't know why, dude. But, here's the thing though. I decided to look outside, guys. Like, I legit just woke up and it is legit snowing in November. It's snowing in November. Like, this this never happens here in New Jersey. It doesn't snow at all. Yeah, I know right now I sound a little like Jesse Pinkman. And, uh, yo, Mr. White, Walter. I, I, yeah, it, it's awful right now. But, guys, it legit is snowing. Like, I don't know why. Like, I'm excited to see snow. At the same time, I'm like, shoot, it's snowing outside. Like, I think later, guys, we're going to we're gonna have to strap on the GoPro and go do something insane with the snowball. Maybe like go throw snow at somebody. I don't know. 
just an idea. Uh, right in the meantime, though, I'm going to go play Call of Duty with Jake. Speaking of Call of Duty, guys, I'm going to be live streaming again over on my twitch.tv slash Jeff Saxon Vlogs. So do me a favor, go follow me on there. You can become a Twitch subscriber, whatever. Just go check out the Twitch. And by the way, check out my Facebook page at Jeff Saxon Vlogs, along with all my other social media. But I'm trying to, you know, like get the Facebook numbers up for you, like just to have a pretty good Facebook profile. So do me a favor, just Drop a follow on all the social medias. Real quick, let's do the channel ship membership shout out of the day. It's going to go to these two wonderful people right there who help support me and my channel by becoming channel members. Now, channel members actually get a shout out in the vlog. I pick two per video. So, yeah, the link to that be down below in the video description. Also, while we're at it, let's do the Twitter shout out of the day. It's going to go to this person right here. If you want the Twitter shout out of the day, all you got to do is retweet this video over on my Twitter at Jeff Saxon Vlogs. Honestly, yeah, it's that easy. I'll pick one person and one of you will end up getting this shout out like this person right here. Ah, nothing but snow everywhere right now. It's actually starting to like freezing rain, which I guess I'll take the freezing rain over the snow any day, but it's just like super cold outside right now. Like, look at this guys. My car is covered in snow. And I think, thankfully my car has a remote start. Actually, I gotta unlock it. There we go. Car's unlocked, uh, put this in the the back seat here. Ugh. Okay, take this. Let's put this here. Do I have a broom or something? Like, yeah, I do. Uh, what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna grab the broom and I gotta clear snow off of my car. Gotta start getting this off the roof. Oh wow, this snow's actually uh, jam-packed up on my car itself. This right here is honestly my least favorite part about snow is just cleaning it all off my car. Okay, mission completed. All the snow is off my car. Well, some of it. I mean, this right here should be fine. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna get in trouble for it. that much snow on my roof because it actually, oh man, my car just shut off. It's actually illegal to drive with a bunch of snow in your car here in New Jersey. I don't know what it's like the rest in the rest of like the United States, but yeah, that's what it's like here. Yeah, so this is what the roads currently look like. There's snow over there, and then there's snow over there, and then there's like ice on the road. So I shouldn't be vlogging right now, but you guys know me. It's like, eh, I'm just gonna record whatever I can for you guys to kind of show you guys into a glimpse of my life here. And there's just a lot of snow everywhere. Just getting ready to leave Big Brother's house. Got my first ever paycheck right here from him. And I also got a copy of my contract. So I'm going to look this thing over. Uh, like I've done with all my previous jobs. You know, with Jesse, even the government job. I had a union contract and a regular contract. So always make sure to read those things when you finally get them in your hands. Yada, yada, yada. Task Includer are operating as cameraman. Appearing in live streams. Providing thumbnails, ideas, and feedback on videos. Minimal tasks required for certain things as instructed. Actual working hours will vary depending on projects at hand. Hours slash projects will be provided to Jeff beforehand, although it's best to act as if you're on call. Any days where Jeff needs off will be discussed in advance. Wait a minute, what's this exhibit A? Non-compete? Oh. Words cannot explain how mad I currently am. I need to absolutely get out of this contract, but I have no clue how. You know what, I'm gonna go to Uncle Larry's house and see if he has any advice for me on how I get out of this contract. Larry, what are you doing here? I need you to read this. What is it? I need you to read it. It's my contract with Big Brother. Come on. Is it raining? It's like snowing, rain, sleet, whatever you want to call it. Your contract? Yeah. I need I need to figure out how, how to get out of it. Hey, let's go out here and call. And Jeffrey Saxton, employee, shall mm -hmm. be effective upon signature and initial of the contract date in print and shall be for a period of 12 months for clarification. The employee mm -hmm. is not considered to be an employee in a traditional sense, as defined by the Internal Revenue Service. The owner shall not provide employee benefits in the form of retirement, insurance, profit share, and vacation, or sick time. Read the non-compete right there. Oh, that one? And then go to payment terms. 
Throughout the duration of this agreement, employees shall not in any manner represent, provide services, or engage in any aspects of business that would be deemed similar in nature of the business of Big Brother Entertainment without the written consent of the owner. Yeah, that's what's wrong with that? You want to go further? Just continue reading, please. The, <coughs> the employee warrants and guarantees that throughout the duration of this agreement and for the period not to exceed 36 months following the culmination completion and termination of this agreement that he or she shall not directly or indirectly engage in any business that would be considered similar to in nature to Big Brother Entertainment and any current refer wow he, he went to town on this didn't he? Or yeah. Refer clients of Big Brother nor shall the employee solicit any client, customer, officer, staff or employee of the benefit of himself or her, herself or, or third party that is or may be engaged in a similar business. What does that even mean? As in my channel, Larry? Oh, you're not allowed to do your channel. As in, no, any of the money I make from my channel goes directly to him. Continue reading payment terms. Notwithstanding the provisions of this contract, the employee is entitled to a payment of 3000 per month to be paid in bi-monthly installments. So you get paid twice a month? Yeah. In the event that the employee is found to be in violation of the non compliance clause the revenues derived from such activities will be immediately deposited into the bank accounts of Big Brother yeah wow Big Brother, to offset the cost of employment up to and exceeding a hundred percent so anything I make on my channel he takes and that only gives me three grand he's paying me by my own videos but that's okay if you make less than three grand, right? Or no? Or he No, if I make less than three grand, I still get that. But if I make over three grand, he takes the rest of my money. Either way, he has access to my money. Well, that's not all right. Did you talk to him about it? Yeah. I just left his house. I'm pretty heated, honestly, Larry, right now. This is why you don't sign things. That, that you don't read. Well, how, how can I get out of this? Is this the only one? No, this is a copy he gave me today. If like I, I set it on fire, would that get me out? No, because he's got the. He's, you said this is a copy. Fuck. What do I do? What, what what do I do? How do I get out of this? I don't know how you can get out of a contract that you signed, and he signed. I mean, I, I can say that's not my signature right there, though. But is it your signature? That's the problem. It's kind of like it. What do you mean? It's kind of like it. Did you sign it? Yeah, I signed it. And you got another problem here, Swift. You signed it, but you signed it on camera too, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so there's proof that you signed it. Oh, man. The, the only thing I suggest is that you, you contact a lawyer. Do you know any around here? No. I mean, my sister's daughter works for a lawyer she's a secretary I mean so you could but wait wait saying. which sister Aunt Jackie but isn't she son technically related to JT so then I can't use her in a lawsuit against JT no that wouldn't matter if they're related or not but she wouldn't be involved with it it's her daughter works for the guy do you got matches yeah I got a fireplace right here but what do you can you hold this please but what are you going to do but Swift, I'm getting out you gotta of this pull contract. up. Yeah, there you go. One way or another, Larry, I'm getting out of this contract. Yeah, but you're, that's not going to do anything other than just. Well, this is just showing my alliance right now towards him. Don't burn my new rug. I'm not going to burn your rug, right. Larry. Big brother, thanks for screwing me over. Look at that fire burn, Larry. Yeah. Burn it inside my fireplace. What do, you want do, what do you want to do to the world, Larry? What, set on fire? That, that's a bad draft <laughs> joke. Oh. Yeah, here. Look at that. Swift, that absolutely is going to do nothing. You just burned a copy. It's just the beginning. It's just a copy. He just burnt my trust. I've always trusted JT. Yeah, but you and he said I didn't need to look at it. But now you don't even have the copy to show a lawyer. Wait. Are you serious? You just burned the copy. Ah.
อาชาชาสมมติแท้ no that's the provisions he's not gonna be able to read that ask him for another copy just ask JT for another copy Well, I might as well go then. I yeah, I mean, that's the only way, you know, when you sign something like that, that's the only way to get out of a contract. You know, I know it, a lawyer? I'm not going to beat you up about it, but that's why you read something before you sign something. I see your point. But, you know, there could be circumstances where, uh, where you, you know, because it's obviously... I'll take this word. It, it's not good because that thing's heavy. Um, it's obviously he tried to trick you. You know, and you could show that video also because I know I remember because I watched it. He had his hand over so you couldn't read it, and I think by law he has to let you read the contract before you sign it. So you're telling me I got screwed? Yeah, you did get screwed. Well, thanks. That's all I need to know. Have a good night, Larry. All right. Listen, if you need to talk anymore, let me know. All yeah. Right? Thank you.